Hey folks, thank you so much for joining us today for the first ever Cloud Native Rust Day. My name is Daniel Mangum and I'm a senior software engineer at Upbound and a member of the Cloud Native Rust Day program committee. While there are lots of folks to thank for participating in and putting on this event, I want to start with a little bit of background on how this event came to be. As Sabri and Chris mentioned in the opening remarks, Cloud Native Rust Day really evolved from a single tweet from Sabri saying that, well, this event should exist. It's a testament to the openness and flexibility of folks at the Cloud Native Computing Foundation, the Rust Foundation, and all those who work to make KubeCon happen. This event could be launched on short notice and become a KubeCon EU 2021 day zero event. And that openness and inclusivity is what I want to focus on for these closing remarks. As you have likely seen today through interactions in the chat and on the event Slack channel, both the Cloud Native and Rust communities are full of people who care about each other. This is reflected in how documentation is written, knowledge is shared, and conversations are had. As evidenced by the many individuals and organizations that presented today and said that Rust is becoming a key part of their Cloud Native story, these two communities are becoming more and more intertwined. I cannot imagine any two more like-minded groups joining forces. Looking back at all the talks from today, I'm impressed by both the depth and breadth of use cases of Rust in Cloud Native projects. While many folks identify Rust as a great language for embedded systems and low-level programming, and this is certainly true, we also saw the usage of language features that enhance programmer productivity in situations where other languages have historically been used. Some of these include usage of macros to deduplicate boilerplate code, leveraging the borrow checker to eliminate race conditions, and utilizing generics and traits to produce powerful abstractions. Likewise, we also saw how Rust enables programmers to produce safe and performant systems to regularly touted capabilities of the language and how its interoperability with WebAssembly is helping to bring many projects to new domains, whether it be the browser, tiny IoT sensors, or elsewhere. Overall, this event has made me and I'm sure countless others excited about the future of Rust and how it will shape the cloud native ecosystem. Before we finish out the day, I would be remiss if I didn't mention a few key individuals who made this day possible. First and foremost, I want to extend a huge thank you to Elna Vogel. Elna has been orchestrating this event from behind the scenes since day one. All organization, communication, and scheduling is thanks to Elna and her colleagues at the CNCF, and this is not possible without their efforts. I also want to thank Chris and the members of the program committee. Following Sabri's lead, it was a true joy to work alongside the program committee to review CFP submissions, plan what the schedule would look like, and generally dream about how this event could be most impactful for attendees. Lastly, thank you to all speakers and attendees. Communities are made up of people, and I hope that you know that you are a valued member of this community, whether you are an experienced rest station or just getting started. We are so thankful that you were able to be part of this event, and we look forward to future Cloud Native Rust Days in the coming years. I want to remind everyone that these closing remarks are going to be followed by a workshop by the wonderful folks at Ferris Systems. This is an excellent opportunity for folks who are new to Rust to get started and those who are experienced with the language to help others. With that, I hope everyone has an awesome week at KubeCon EU 2021.